Um, uh, thank you, uh, Madam Deputy President. I think it's uh, important as we, we come to, uh, you know, towards the conclusion of, of a kind of farcical debate here, is that uh, in terms of the comments by uh, Senator Hanson Young, uh, which I certainly agree with, uh, I want to put on the record uh, the absolute disappointment <clears throat> of the people of the Northern Territory. Uh, a, to not even uh, hear from the minister in terms of which organisations you've spoken to in the last few hours in order to get this amendment through and in order to obviously get the deal through that you've done uh, with Centre Alliance, as, uh, as we've heard from Senator Lambie as well, uh, on the fact that you have been doing that. I think it's an absolute disgrace that the people of the Northern Territory cannot get the answers from you in relation to that conversation, that deal that you've made. And it's also an absolute disgrace on the part of Centre Alliance uh, for, not, <coughs> for not have had the courage of their conviction, if this is what they truly believed was the way they were going to always go, uh, to really address this Senate and, in particular, talk to the people of the Northern Territory. I have thanked uh, Senator Patrick and Senator Lambie uh, for taking the time to visit the Northern Territory and listen to people and also respond to them directly in what they were thinking and planning to do. Uh, Rebecca Sharkey, MP um, in the lower house, was also invited to come to the Northern Territory and she did take up that offer. She took up that offer. and last minute was unable to come, however she sent her staff. And again, the people of the Northern Territory were very thankful for that. And spent the time over a week, along with Senator Lambie, to, uh, to talk to the Tunganjira Council, uh, the council that is responsible for the town camps around Alice Springs, to talk to the Tunganjira women and the women's group. Uh, so Senator, La not Senator Lambie, Rebecca Sharkey's staff were a part of that, and also then to travel. Uh, we went out to the Western Max, out to the communities, and so through the representation of Rebecca Sharkey's staff, uh, the people of the Northern Territory, in particular Central Australia, were able to express directly uh, their absolute concerns about the cashless debit card. So it is an absolutely deeply disappointing and a complete betrayal of the people of the Northern Territory by Centre Alliance. There has been no discussion, no respect in conversation uh, to even bring this as something that Centre Alliance was going to do. Now people may say, people may say oh, that's politics. But what it really says more than anything is how desperate this government is. How desperate this government is to keep a failed policy, one that has proven no evidence that it actually works. And the minister yourself has stood up tonight and talked about anecdotal evidence. Well, we can all say that. But what we expected in this Senate was a far greater depth of respect of that evidence coming forward. And like the cowards that you are,